welcome to DevTech Media, the media that shares news, trending videos, political news, gospel music, as well as entertainment. Please, if you are joining me for the first time, don't forget to click that subscription button and that notification bell. Can song today, we're going to be talking for a few moments about the debacle and the debauchery and the chaos and carnage that's happening over there in South Africa. Now, I must begin by telling you that if you are misinformed about a specific topic, then you don't have the right information and your response oftentimes is erroneous. If you don't have the full picture of what's going on, you often jump to the wrong conclusion, which I, I, I often see, especially with the advent of social media, that tends to happen quite a bit. But today, this afternoon, I'm going to hopefully clear the air for you and give you a clear, concise, comprehensive picture of what's going on over there in South Africa. Now, of course, we love South Africa. I think that that country holds a very special place in our hearts as Zambians. And so naturally, whatever affects South Africa affects us as Zambians because we love them. But even though we do love them, there are certain things that we have to call out. We have to call them out as off kilter. We have to call them out. As, as, as erroneous, we have to call them out as, as less than. And this is why I'm here today. Now, many of you are asking this all elusive question. Why is the former president of South Africa, Mr. Jacob Zuma, in prison? Let's begin there. Because in order to understand it, we have to start from this vantage point. Many of you know that the former president refused to appear before the Commission of Inquiry. You know, South Africa has what they call the Commission of Inquiry. For those of you that have misappropriated funds or you have had, you have had allegations of abuse of office and things like that, the South Africans have a commission of inquiry. And Mr. Zuma was called to appear before that inquiry. Now, there were many other people that were called, but the difference is Mr. Zuma had so many cases, so many allegations of impropriety, so many allegations of corruption, that the, the, the constitutional court issued a summons for Mr. Zuma to appear before the Commission of Inquiry. That's where the problem began. And, and you must understand that Mr. Zuma refused to appear before that, that Commission of Inquiry. But more, most importantly, Mr. Zuma ignored the constitutional court summons. That's where the problem is. Therein lies the conundrum. Now, you must understand that the constitutional court, let me throw it up here for you so that you don't forget it. The constitutional court is the highest court in the country when it comes to interpretation, protection and enforcement of the constitution you must understand that first of all when the constitutional court issues a summons in this case they summoned mr jacob zuma they said mr zuma you go over there to that to that commission of inquiry take yourself there appear before that inquiry we as the constitutional court being the highest court in the land we are compelling you to go there. It's not a request. It is a court summons. Take yourself over there, Mr. Zuma. What did Mr. Zuma do? He disobeyed. He ignored it. Now, 
it's important for you to understand that when Mr. Zuma ignored the summons by the Constitutional Court, guess what he did? He went against the Constitution, which is a criminal offense which has now resulted in prison time for Mr. Zuma. Are you catching this? Are you getting this? Are you grasping this? When you as a citizen of a country, and, and, and especially when you are a president, remember when President Zuma was, was president, they were throwing this term, state capture, state capture. Remember that? We, we first heard the phrase sta state capture from Chishimba Kambuidi. That's the first time I ever heard of it. But in South Africa, state capture, let me, let me define it here for you so that you know what we're talking about. State capture simply means multiple scandals that plagued the Zuma administration and eventually brought it down. That buzzword, state capture, means that there were so many cases, they were a plethora, a multiplied multiplicity of multitudinous hundreds of different allegations of corruption and impropriety against the Zuma administration so much so that they called it state capture and that state capture is what brought the zuma administration down are you with me are we together are you getting it is it crystal clear now when mr zuma went went against when when he disobeyed the summons it means, like I said, he went against the constitutional court, which in turn means that he went against, against the constitution. One of the things that presidents do when they're first sworn in, you think they do, do that to sound pretty? You, you think they, when a president becomes president of a country and they are sworn into office, one of the first things they do they pledge allegiance to the Constitution and they pledge to protect, preserve, and uphold the Constitution. Those are not just platitudes. Those are not just words you speak because you're in a good mood. Those are not words you talk, you, you, you spew out of your mouth as you tiptoe through the tulips. No, 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 no. Those, those are heavy words. I promise to preserve and protect and uphold the Constitution. Now, if Mr. Zuma was not charged with what he's been charged with, hmm, South Africa's Constitution would hold no substance. I, I want that to sink in for a moment. If Mr. Zuma had not been charged and sent to prison because he disobeyed the Constitutional Court's summons, it means then that South Africa's Constitution is worthless, it's useless, it's pathetic, it has no function. Now here it is, you've got a bunch of KwaZulu-Natal citizens running around South Africa like headless chickens demanding justice for a man that is embroiled in injustice. Oh, that's, that, that's good. That just, you know, I think that just, that was just thrown in my spirit right there. You've got a bunch of young South Africans looting, pillaging, rioting, stealing, thieving, crooking, because they don't understand what the hell's going on 
in their minds, no, Zuma, release Zuma. Well, it's a constitutional issue. And if you are unenlightened, you won't get it. If you're dealing with an electorate that is ignorant, that doesn't know anything about constitutional matters, that doesn't know that when the constitutional court summons you and you ignore that summons, you are going against the constitution, thereby landing you in prison. If you can't wrap your brain around that, honey, I can't help you. Zuma, well, Mr. Zuma, Mr. Jacob Zuma, got what he deserved. He's in prison and rightly so. What Mr. Zuma is trying to foster, knowingly or unknowingly, which to be honest with you, in my opinion, it's knowingly, is a sense of anarchy, carnage, lawlessness, and a disregard for the law. Rebellion against authority. These, you think those young South Africans, when they loot and they pillage and they rob and steal, you think they're doing it truly because they understand what's going on? First of all, they have not one clue. They don't have one iota of, 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 of a semblance of understanding. They don't understand why Jacob Zuma is in prison. They don't. And here it is now they've taken to the streets. What you, you, you honestly think that they're marching and pillaging and looting because they believe in what they, they believe about Mr. Jacob Zuma. No man, they're doing it to, to serve themselves. They're doing it to, to break into shops and steal television sets and couches and hogs and pigs and legs of cattle and dildos might i add listen if you don't know what a dildo is i'm not going to sit here and explain that to you you can google it they're stealing everything except the kitchen sink which which really truly speaking they are stealing the kitchen sink they're, they're stealing everything except the squeal all in the name of what they, they don't they don't even understand I mean, here it is. Let me show you some of the thing that, some of the things that are happening over there in South Africa. Goodness gracious! I mean, some of these things you 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 gotta you you have to. It's it's incredible. Oh, I can't bring it up now. I thought I'd. Wait a minute, big bookmarks. Oh, great! Forget it. I, I thought I, I. But you've seen the photographs. You've seen pictures of people that have stolen expensive couches but because they don't know where to put them they've just put them out there in the sidewalk you've seen photographs of young men carrying leg whole <laughs> I'm going to say <laughs> carrying <laughs> whole legs of cattle <laughs> I don't mean to laugh I mean that's terrible and I, and I think it's wrong for me to laugh because some poor butcher guy was wrong. <laughs> My poor Jesus. Oh, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> listen, listen, I don't mean to laugh. This is terrible. Somebody. All right, all right, listen. All right, enough of that. It's a terrible thing. And there, there are people out there that are losing their livelihoods because you got a bunch of kids that are running around they don't even know why they're protesting and destroying public property South Africa you need to get your act together 
You do. Your country's falling apart at the seams. Yes, you've been through, 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 through difficulties before. But, but if, you, if you allow the seed of rebellion to germinate, you will never recover from it. So my admonition to the South Africans is this. If you don't put that country back together again, just give it back to the Boers. Because you, you're fooling around. You're messing around with a country. Uh, you guys messed up a perfectly good country. Let's just put it that way. South Africa today is a, is a figment of what it used to be. It is a shadow of what it used to be. And you guys are messing it up. So here's the thing. If you South Africans cannot put your act or get your act together, just give it back to the Boers. Let them take it back and bring some semblance of order and respect for the law. If you can't do that, then I'm sorry, South Africa. You're in trouble. All right. I got to go. God bless. Bye. Tech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media. DevTech Media. Subscribe to DevTech Media. Thank you very much for tuning in at DevTech Media. Remember, DevTech Media is the media that shares news, trending videos, political news, gospel music, as well as entertainment. Please, don't forget to click that subscription button and that notification bell to be the very first person to receive the video that will be produced and posted by DevTech Media. DevTech Media, updating you.